Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a quick energy update for my Geminians, okay? So if you are a Gemini or have Gemini anywhere on your natal chart, my love, then this is for you, okay? Let us see what Spirit has to say to my Geminis on today. I'm feeling very interesting energy here gemini okay can't quite put my finger on it right now it just feels like you guys are doing something very exciting because i just kind of got a little excited okay so it's that type of energy if you know what i'm saying so this feels really good gemini okay could be love could be money what is it something has you excited excited like burning up okay so let us see. Energy messages. Gemini. Energy and messages, spirit. For Gemini. Let us see. Energy and messages. For Gemini. Hmm have this one which is the five of michael and we have the nine of gabriel okay yeah so i feel like you guys are working on some type of building okay <clears throat> building something great here for yourself might i add and you're worried that things are not going to work out the way that you want them to but they are okay you have the queen of wands here so i see that whatever you're doing is something that you're passionate about you're just very afraid that things are not going to work out the way that you would like them to now here's one suggestion that i can make to you with this nine of gabriel energy and this five of michael energy i'm just going to say put your guard down show people who you really are okay you hear my son i'm not sure if you guys can hear him but he is over there in his room screaming to the top of his lungs because he is enjoying himself on that video game that he has so i kind of feel this energy where uh you guys have this thing that you love to do or have something that you're passionate about but when it comes to displaying your passion or when it comes to displaying your talent you're kind of scared you shy away okay but this thing it's like you guys are given an opportunity let's just say you were put on um one of those shows you know america's got talent or something like that okay just to display what it is that you have to offer but then you get there and you freeze up it's that type of energy okay so spirit is saying stop worrying with archangel michael here as well he's here to cut out any type of worry or frustration that you may have so this is literally like spirit's first line of defense so anytime we see michael we know that it's serious business this is something that could potentially stop you from pursuing what you're called to do okay now if you guys seen that reading that i did earlier today then you know what i mean there's a calling on a lot of us and it's time to answer or you know kind of just leave it alone you know what i mean and who wants to do that it's like the window of opportunity is like like this right now so it's like are you gonna go through that window or like what are we doing we're gonna wait for it to close or you know that's how spirit is coming however you're being guided to put on a show okay with the queen of gabriel so it says passionate charming brilliant and independent okay you can do anything right now so you can do anything right now let's just reiterate that go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people, okay? This one, with your worry and your concerns, it says this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome, okay? Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Some of you may, for example, have this skill, have this talent, and let's say you have a great singing voice, but you don't know how to control your voice. And you know that that's something that the judges are going to be critiquing, they're going to be looking for, and all of that. So this comes into play with something of that nature, right? You know there's a position that you want. You have all of the other qualifications, except you don't have a certification or a degree in X, Y, and Z. So you know that that's something you might want to go and get or make happen prior to you going. So Spirit is saying, put your wall down, whatever defenses or... Um, I don't want to call it ego, right? Because a healthy ego is not a bad thing, right? So I don't want to call it that. However, I will say, um, what 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 is a good word for this? Um, not ego. It's more like a hmm, fear. Okay, an underlying fear of failure. 
okay not really ego right ego is, is something different but this is a true sincere genuine fear of embarrassment or fear of asking for help because a person is so independent i mean you are the queen of wands king of wands whatever it is pay no attention to the sex but you know whatever it is right stepping into that receptive energy as well this is this has a lot to do with channeling women are known to be extremely intuitive right so whereas if this were the king of gabriel this is being dominant going out there doing it right now but with this this is being receptive right so like i said the ability to attract helpful people when those people come to you because you are the queen of wands energy you're able to be receptive to that help right and realize hey this is what i prayed for archangel michael showing up with gabriel here right so it says stay determined and move forward be be prepared for any possibility i really like that so this goes to show that when we go to get in our head and you know whatever else we can hold ourselves back but spirit has other plans for you here so let us see what's going on with this nine of gabriel energy a little closer go figure ace of wands right go figure because this is something that you're passionate about something that you already have the skills for with these three of pentacles something that either you've been you know skilled at all your life or something you've been working towards all your life right like gymnasts you know those people that go out for those um olympics and all of that you know prior to doing that there's a lot of training right Prior to becoming some type of uh, ice skater, there's a lot of training that goes into that, right? But with this Wheel of Fortune, this is saying it's the time. Now you've done the training, you've done the preparation, so stay determined and move forward, right? But as you're doing so, and it's so exciting, you tend to be fearful and afraid of failing, disappointing yourself, disappointing anybody who may have supported you or believed in you, who may have been cheering for you, right? Anybody who uh, may be looking up to you or anything like that. But with this seven of swords here, I feel like that can stand in your way, right? That can really stand in your way. This can also be having people around you that don't necessarily mean you well. So that could have a lot to do with why your guard is up, right? Because you know that, hey, maybe something's not right with this energy. So then that might be something you have to cut out, right? Could be many things here, especially with this seven of swords right next to this wheel of fortune. Could that be why you're afraid to move forward because of the betrayal that you've known in the past? Right. But six of pentacles here. Now you're moving into a more solid and stable future. Right. Whereas six of pentacles is something that's small, but it's, it's something that can grow. Right. So I feel like when you were here, there was a lot of betrayal and deceit around you. So now, Spirit wants to move you forward, but prior to doing so, you may definitely have to get from around this deceit and betrayal, right? There's no may about it. Like, definitely? Definitely. You know how they say, you know Charles? Charles who? Charles, Charles. Well, you know definitely? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Okay, and we have ten of cups here. All right, so I feel like once you do that, you get to a happier place. Now we have two tens, Roman numeral, and obviously the american version right with the one and the zero but at the same time we have um that that one being new energy independence right this definitely said independent so this is you stepping into i can do it for myself um not necessarily being guarded but just knowing who and what to give your energy to and because of that now you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor with your friends, your family, and those, like I said, who support you, who cheer for you, and all of that stuff. So you ultimately are not going to be disappointing anybody, right? But it can be kind of disappointing if people know and believe in you. Like, they know you can do it. They believe in you, right? You know you can do it. But with the Knave of Pentacles in reverse, you refuse to move forward, right? So, this is funny. Let's see. Knave of Wands in reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh. I feel with the Four of Swords here and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, let's get into it. So, Knave of Wands in reverse. Not moving forward with the passions. Afraid. At the same time, the reason you're afraid is because of the slow movement, right? So, it's like a person knows that something is going to take time. You keep having dreams about it. You keep being guided to do it. Now you have this confirmation again because you already had the Nine of Wands. So this is double confirmation. You have the Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. So Spirit is saying, I'm giving you the vision. I'm showing you how to get to this Ten of Cups. We already see what, what we have to do here. 
But because it's going to take you time and because you have to ask someone else for help or you have to go to another person and depend on them. And you're afraid of somebody misleading you with this seven of swords. So you keep yourself stuck instead of just going to somebody and saying, hey, I need help with learning how to control my voice or hey, I need help with learning that move or hey, you know, I really want to um, perfect my craft, whatever it is. Right, that's pretty much what you're saying to whoever else, you know, getting a mentor of some sort or getting the necessary help that you need to progress to the next level. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, and that's what it's really, really, truly about. Okay, so here we go again with the digits. So we had the Roman numeral, then we had the digits, right? AKA the American version. I was being funny because it's, you know, Roman. <laughs> but anywho, so the digits, right? So now we have 10, 10, 10, have it three times. So let's go ahead and put that right up top because that's just lovely to look at, <laughs> right? So 10, 10, 10, right? Stepping into this brand new beginning, having what you need now because you went and you weren't afraid to ask for it. You weren't afraid to go for it, right? So that could be you taking a more uplifting approach, asking for the necessary help, getting out of your head with this eight of swords here, Right? And because with the Eight of Swords here, you're definitely keeping yourself stuck. So this is Spirit's way of reconfirming that for us and saying, you want this Ten of Pentacles? Well, you're going to have to get out of your head because that's what's stopping you here, Gemini. There's nothing else, right? There's nothing else. King of Pentacles. Underlying energy is justice. So what do we want here, right? Do we want the karmic justice? We want to step into this dominant role. Notice I said, and as we know, okay? So I'm going to say, like I said, and as we know. This was the feminine energy. So I said, never mind the sex. Same thing goes for this, never mind the sex. However, there's always a divine feminine and masculine energy. That's how things are balanced, right? So this is what spirit is saying. You have your passion. You have your finance. And because of this, okay, now that's that balanced energy. This is somebody who's dependable, okay, who's resilient, that go-to person, somebody who is able to provide for their family. No more chump change, like here with the Six of Pentacles. That's why I said it's okay, but you know, it can get better. This is you having to potentially ask for a handout, ask for a loan, get some type of assistance from somebody, you know, um, donations, whatever it may be, things like that, right? But when you get into this point or this place, this is wealth. And then you see those, you know, reefs and, and leaves and everything on his tree. I mean, on his um, throne. Okay, that is security. That's wealth. That's longevity. It doesn't go anywhere. It's, it's there. It's rooted. Right? So it's that type of thing. Okay? So you get to that place. You get your karmic justice. And I really like that. Okay? So if it resonated or you enjoyed watching it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.